Hey, what's up guys? It's Brent, aka Bradleys. I just got out of group session today, and you know, we didn't really talk about anything that I, I wanted to, to talk about today, but you know, it was a good group session. Talked a lot about of a lot of anxiety-related issues. Not really going to get into the details on that, but uh, you know, today I kind of want to talk about what I was thinking whenever I was being physically and sexually abused back in the day. Um, as you all know, I have PTSD, um, post-traumatic stress disorder, and uh, you know, it was so easy thinking about it on my way to my car, and I was like, you know, I'm going to vlog, like, yes, I have this amazing idea. And now I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna chicken out, I'm gonna chicken out, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna fight through it because those voices aren't gonna win. So, um, anyway, wow, uh, this is really hard. Um, you know, my brothers used to beat me a lot, like just senseless for no reason. They used to just beat me, and I, at first I would always fight back. I'd always be like, no, this isn't right. I'm going to try and fight back. And yeah, you know, I'll concede the point that I was an annoying brother. But whenever I'm yelling and screaming and crying for you to stop hitting me, like, that's just not right. Like, why? Why are you doing this to me at this point? Like, I can understand, like, pushing me away. Or like, you know, Brent, you need to go away. You're really being annoying right now. That, that, would, be, that would be an okay reaction. <sighs> but, um, you know... They would just beat me to the point where I, I'd be crying and curled in the fetal position and I'd just be feeling terrible. Like, I felt like nothing I could do could stop it. And I stopped fighting back and it just got worse and worse. And, you know, that's when the sexual abuse started happening and, you know, I just stopped fighting back. It just got so tiring and I wasn't getting anything out of it. And you know, it just hurt, it just hurt. And you know, I didn't have that feeling today in group, but I was walking out of group and I started feeling that way. And I was just like, wow. I never thought I would be able to realize that what happened wasn't my fault. That it wasn't, that I I am not bad. Like that wasn't my fault. But I'm here to tell you that, no, it's not our fault. It's, it's not our, it's not us that's wrong. It's, it's whoever did it to us. And it may not have been your brother or your sister or your parents or whoever, but just know that it's okay now. They can't, they don't have that power over you. They had that power for way too long. It's time for you to be in control of your own life. And that's why I'm in counseling. Anyway, I really hope you guys like this. Um, it was really hard to say. Um, anyway, this has been your boy Brent, aka Bradlebees. I am out.